Well, good morning. I feel alive, y'all. <laughs> Finally, I'm up this morning getting dressed. Getting dressed to get the day started. Get out and about. Going to eat some breakfast this morning. So I'm getting myself together. Y'all, the plane. Oh, that plane. I said I gotta get over my field though, y'all. I woke up this morning and I was thinking about it once I was, you know, putting the video together and I was like, I gotta get over my field. Cause if I don't get over my field of flying, I'm going to allow that to hold me back from doing better things in life. And you can't drive very well. You want to go. So I just got to get over it. So I'm hoping that it was just the first time it's the first time experience that had me like that. But then again, I'm gonna say that it wasn't the first time experience that had me like that because <laughs> that's why I don't get on rides and stuff at the 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 fair. Because uh, I can't handle it. I can't handle that up and down, round and round motion. And it just has, it's like, I don't know. Uh, it's some, it's, it's some, I guess it's something with me being afraid, terrified of heights. It's what uh, makes me like that. And so that motion, baby. But I can say, well, I can't. I can say I was scared to get on the because I had a two-hour flight on the second plane. The first plane was a smaller plane. The seatbelt didn't even fit me, and so I was. I thought they was gonna say something to me or whatever, make me have to, you know, buy another seat or something like that. But the girl, she walked past me. I think she knew. I think she knew that the seatbelt wasn't gonna fit my tail. And so she didn't say nothing to me, and I, I, baby. So the seat that I was in, they had asked me if I wanted to move because, you know, it was some empty seats, and, you know, I was sitting next to somebody, so she was like, it will be more comfortable or whatever. I'm like, okay. I think I probably would have been more comfortable sitting next to somebody. For one, no seat belt on. Two, my first time. Three, the movement. Four, being scared. Five, take off. Take off. Six, landing. But you know what? The landing on the first plane, I ain't, it, I ain't feel it like that like I did on the on the second plane. That second plane, that landing, mm, that landing was different. It's like we was up high or something. That dumb, that dumb. That, that was a, a lot different. So... Well, like I said, I got to get over that, though. I got to get I gotta get over that field, because if I don't get over that field, I ain't going to go nowhere. So, I can't keep being scared like that. At first, it was like the thought of just being up there, just closed in. At first, it's almost like, at first, it was almost like I had claustrophobia. That was weird for me. I ain't never, nah, I ain't never felt like that. So at first it was like I had claustrophobia. When I closed, cause I had oh I had the window open, right? So I thought, hmm, child, I'm gonna I'm gonna fly and I'm gonna be looking out the window, you know, cause I'm closed in, you know, that's what I was thinking. Child, I'm gonna be looking out the window and all that does. Child, please. <laughs> Time that uh plane went to going fast. I swear it seemed like we we're going a thousand miles an hour. And time that plane got on that stretch where they was going to take off going into the air, baby. I was like, what in the world did I get myself into? Okay. What did I get myself into? Girl, when I tell you I was so scared, honey, I ain't know what to think. I, ain't, I didn't know how to think. Nothing. I was so scared. I knew I couldn't holler. I knew I couldn't. Because them folks would have been looking at me like I was crazy. Like, what is wrong with this girl? Scared first time flying. <laughs> Scared. 
That's what was wrong. So, um, but I made it though. I made it through. Like I said, once you once you get on up there and it starts smooth, like I guess they get level like they need to. It's smooth selling from there. But every little bump you feel, you get scared. But that's only like when you I think that's only like when you when you're fresh, like the first time. Cause the second time, like every bump I felt. It really didn't bother me because I knew that it was the wind. I was up there, but then it it, it did kind of cross my mind, like, okay, what if this wind be too hard and it bumped the 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 plane too hard and we just go, girl, y'all just don't know all the things that was running through my mind, child. So when I got off there, I had a two hour layover. Thank God for the layover because I needed it. I needed that two-hour layover. It gave me time to regroup and get back to myself and be prepared for the next plane. So, the two-hour layover definitely helped me. But when I got on that second plane, first going in, they have no air on. So, it was hot. So, I now, now I'm feeling funny like I, I, like I can't breathe. Like, y'all, I think it was probably a lot of it probably was all in my head, really. But it's like I couldn't breathe, like almost like get me off of here. But then I have to, I had to keep telling myself, girl, this is not no carnival ride. You can't get on and get off of here. So you got to tough it out and ride. So when I first got on, it was, you know, that's how it was. Then. As we, um, when we took off, the takeoff was the same. Just the same. That same feeling that I was having. And so, as we got on up there, I thought that the two hour was going to, was going to, the two hour ride was going to be worse because, um, the first one was only like 25 minutes. It was supposed to be 35 minutes, but it was 25 minutes. So, I thought the two hours, I was like, Lord, let me just make it through these two hours. But I made it through. It wasn't as bad on a two hour. That stretch was fine. But once that plane, it was time for it to come down. That's the only, I didn't, I didn't know that they had to angle themselves to come down just like they angled themselves to go up. I thought, you know, you kind of like, they kind of like ease their way down like this. Which they probably do. But every now and then you felt the little tilting. And then go down some more. Tilt. Go down some more. You know. It seems like it take probably about 30 minutes for them to land. For real. So. Once they got closer and closer to landing. You feel it angling down even more. That is the worst feeling ever. That is the worst feeling ever. So that's the only really real problem with flying for real, for real. If you have like a motion problem, then you're going to definitely, I don't know what you're going to need for that. I might, I don't know if I'm going to need some Dramamine for that or whatever. Because you know, like some people, when they get on boats and stuff, they be the same way. They need that uh, Dramamine for motion. Now, I don't been on a boat. I've never been on a real big boat, but I have been on a boat out fishing. And I didn't get none of that motion, you know, from riding on the boat. I, so, I know that it was the height. It was just the height that was bothering me. That's all it was. It couldn't have been... I, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. So, then I'm kind of scared to take the drum me because I don't want to be too relaxed because then I might panic. Uh, from being so relaxed. I don't know. Like I said, I feel like I might have a reverse effect on me. I don't know. I'm just scared. I don't know. I'm scared, 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 scared. But I got to get out of that field, y'all. I got to. I can't keep being scared. Can't keep being no scared cat. So my, hu my husband, he was like, this was a solo trip. Okay. At that. So um, my husband, he was like, uh, did you look out the window? I was like, no. 
So the footage that y'all got of me at the of the views out the window, the first little footage was from me. I was just holding the camera like this. I don't even know what I was recording. I was just holding it like this, honey, and it was getting it. It was getting some. So the um the second, I think y'all had got like two more out the window footages, and that was from the people that was the first one was from the guy that was sitting in front of me. And then the other one was the last one was from the guy that was sitting next to me. Yeah. So other than that, other than that, I wouldn't have been able to do it. I y'all wouldn't have been able to get no out the one footage because I wasn't gonna look, mm -mm, baby. And so the people that was on the plane around me, out of my peripheral, I can see like everything just going so fast, and that was scaring me too. Man, y'all. But I can say it was fast. You know, and it, you know, you didn't have to do all that driving and all that stuff like that. So that's the good part about it. That's the good part about it. You just gotta get over the feel. Just gotta get over the feel of, of of the motion. Gotta get over the feel of the motion. I ain't gotta open my window, so it ain't so much of a I don't think it's so much of the hype part. I think it's just the motion. It's just the motion. I don't know what the hell, but first time you're gonna be scared. I ain't even gonna I ain't even fade the phone with y'all. I'm not. For those of you that scared of heights, first time you're gonna be scared. And I, I'm just telling you the truth, because uh, honey, ain't nobody tell me this. So I'm gonna tell you. First time your ass is gonna be scared. I'm just saying. So But you got to get over that. Can't let it hold you back. I got to put this lash on. I can't see, child. Oh, so yeah. Mm. Child, that glue is dry. So yeah, when I got off, I was the first one. I was like, "Oh Lord, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I want to do this again. I don't know if I want to do this again." But I think I will do it again, though. I gotta do it again. But the show won't be nowhere that far. Mm mm. It won't be nowhere that. Far. Well, I, I don't know, and it definitely have to be at a certain time. I definitely have to know the weather, cause I don't wanna, I don't wanna experience the um, the real bad heavy rains and stuff like that. I don't wanna experience that lightning and all that. I don't even know if they fly when it's lightning, but I don't wanna experience that right now. Um, uh -uh, baby, I have to know that weather before I go, cause when I left, it was raining, but it wasn't, it wasn't no bad rain like that. It was more of a let me get this. It was more of a uh, misty rain. So, so what was funny? Like the second, um, on the second flight, the man. Oh, and let me tell y'all two things in one. First of all, I had to conquer the field, get on the plane. Then I had to turn around and conquer another field, y'all. So on the second flight, it was two hours. Maybe like 30 minutes before I had, it was, matter of fact, it was like 30, no. When I had to go to the bathroom, I know for a fact I had like an hour and, an hour and three minutes to go, right? Before I got off the plane. So I say, okay, I'm gonna try to tough this side and hold it till I get off the plane. I look back at the phone again. It said I had like 33 minutes to go. I couldn't make it in. By this time, I'm in the tight and I'm just shaking, trying to hold it. But I was so scared. And so it was, at first, so it was this guy that was on the plane. He had to use the bathroom. So he looked back and he had this nervous look on his face when he looked back like, dang, that bathroom way back there. I gotta walk that far. You know, that's the look that he had on his face, but he got on up, he went to the bathroom. 
came on back, you know, I, I was watching him, how he was walking and stuff, because I knew I had to go to the bathroom. So then the um, flight attendants, they come down the aisle, you know, passing out snacks and stuff, right? And so I'm, wa I'm watching them, how they walking and stuff. You know, they used to it or whatever. So I'm like, okay, they not really like about tumbling over and stuff. So I was like, all right, I might be all right. I might be all right. I had to go so bad. I really had to go. But I was like, I can't. I'm scared. I'm scared. So they finally um come by me and they was giving us snacks and stuff like that. You know, they was giving you drinks and stuff. I, I got me a bag of chips. I was like, but I don't want nothing to drink because I was going to try to hold that pee. <laughs> hold my bladder, but I couldn't hold it. So then there was this man. I think he must was in the service or whatever. It was an older man, though. You know how like, they, they still like the way they had some stuff. So he was in the service or whatever. And so he um got up to go to the bathroom. Now, this was an old man. And he got up to go to the bathroom. I'm like... So I'm watching him as he walked to the front going to the bathroom. So he looked like he was doing pretty good one, you know, tumble, stumbling and stuff like that. You know, the plain one, you know, rocking him too much. And I was like, in my mind, I was saying to myself, he done did this before. He used to this. But I couldn't. I was trying to, you know, I was trying to make up all kinds of excuses to the reason why I couldn't do it. Talk myself out of it, really. So, I, it got to the point where I couldn't hold it no more. I said, I got to go. I got to go. So, I finally made up my mind. I unbuckled the seatbelt. I got on up. I started walking. As I started walking to the back, I was like, I could do this. I could do this. I got this. So, I um, I finally made it on down the hall to the end. Got in the bathroom first, didn't know how to open the door. So, you know, like, I think, but let me tell y'all, I feel like flight attendants and the people that work at the airport should be a lot more nicer. If you is a flight attendant and you work at the airport, you should be a lot more nicer to people because if you're not, because you don't know who's new flying and it's scary. And it's confusing when you don't know how to find your terminal and stuff like that. So be a lot more nicer to people because you just never know who's flying and it's their first time flying and just confused and don't know what to do. Everybody not professionals at flying, okay? Everybody ain't flew before. So be nicer to people that's that 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 uh that's boarding and um coming off the plane and stuff. Cause y'all saw that video, that man. I don't know where that man was finna send me to. My glue done dry it again. I don't know where that man was finna send me to. But when I got off the plane and I was looking for my bag, I seen the people standing in the line, but I didn't know that I was supposed to be standing at that line to wait on my luggage to get it, you know, at that door. I thought maybe I had to go on the inside to get it from somewhere else. I didn't know. And so, um, that guy... He gonna tell me to go down, go down the hallway, go down the escalator, get on the train. What if I would have did all that? Went down a down the hall on the escalator, got on the train, and I and all that stuff. When he told me to get on the train, baby, oh, oh you talking about oh, that sound like I'm finna go somewhere else. So that's why I had to stop and ask somebody else because you ain't finna be sending me somewhere. I don't know where I'm going. And then he wouldn't, he wouldn't look at me while he was talking to me now time. So he wouldn't look at me while I was talking to him now time. So I was like, oh, heck no. No, 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 no. Let me find out from somebody else Well, I need to go. So the other guy, he helped me and I figured it out. So when I anywho, so when I'm, I I had made it to the bathroom, so I was thinking to myself, Lord, I know we got like thirty minutes to go. I was like, please don't let this man be let let them be landing this plane while I'm in this bathroom. <laughs> And y'all know how it be on movies and stuff. You know, you think that when you use the bathroom, honey, how the when you flush the toilet, suction and all that child, all that done. 
it's so small and compact in there, but I, you know, I'm glad I conquered my fear, y'all. I got this. I got this. I can do it. I can do it. I'm not finna let my fear of heights keep me back because I know my husband want to go to Vegas, experience it, and I got them. I got to get together. I got to get together. Because I got to be able to ride my husband to Vegas. So, I got to get my feet together. Like I said, I can do it. I, 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 when I'm on, I, and I be, and I just be sitting there waiting on it to go up. But I got this, y'all. I got it. I got this. I got it. I can do it. I can do it. So, anywho, that was my experience on the plane. Um, I'm about to get ready to go out, eat some breakfast, and um, enjoy my day. So, I hope y'all have an amazing day. And don't forget to ring that doorbell. Hit the thumbs up, the like button. That's what the like button is. Welcome to my channel. If you was new, I'm happy to have you. But until the next one, y'all be ready for whatever it is coming up because I don't know. But until the next one, I am out. Y'all be blessed. I love y'all.